Welcome back, builders. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a quick, easy, and lossless sugarcane slash bamboo farm. Let's get right into it. These are the materials that you're going to need for a sugarcane farm. I didn't add exact numbers because it's going to vary depending on how large you want it to be. Our first step is to create the collection system. I'm doing four rows of two double chests because I like to have a lot of storage in my AFK farms because I tend to go AFK for long periods of time. But you don't need to have this many chests. You can have less or you can add more if you want. Next we need to create our hoppers. Place a hopper into each of the chests that you've just placed. Then, taking the furthest most hopper, place one on top of it facing into it. Then add a line of hoppers facing into that hopper that you just placed. This creates a hopper pipeline. After you've placed your hoppers, go above them and place a row of mud blocks on each hopper. The mud block is important because it is one pixel shorter than regular blocks and this will allow items such as sugarcane and bamboo to fall through the block and enter the hoppers, so you no longer need a minecart system. After you've placed your mud, go ahead and create a trench behind the mud for your water to sit. I'm using stairs so they can be waterlogged. You could use a similar trick with the copper grates if you're in Minecraft 1.21. After you've placed your water, go ahead and cover it with a block above. Above those blocks, place pistons facing towards the mud and add a row of blocks behind those pistons. Then, from the direction of the blocks, place observers on top of the pistons. They should be facing the same direction as the pistons. And after you've placed all your observers, go ahead and create a redstone line behind them. If we flip to the other side of the farm, this is what it should look like so far. So our next step is going to be to finish off the farm and enclose it. So I'm adding walls to the side of it, and I'm going to add sea lanterns in a row in front of the mud blocks, because if this is a bamboo farm, it needs light in order for the bamboo to grow. So I'm placing sea lanterns here, and then glass on top of it so that the sea lanterns can send their light to the bamboo and to make sure it grows. Once you've placed your crops, like I'm doing sugarcane and bamboo here, so you can see that both crops will work, Go ahead and place a roof on top of it and fully enclose the farm. This will make sure that no items are lost when they are pushed by the pistons. And that's the whole farm! I'm going to change the tick speed from the regular 3 to 300 so you can see that this farm does indeed work. And that's how you build a simple, easy, lossless sugarcane farm. If you liked this video, like, comment what you want to see next, and subscribe to tell me what other farms you want to see. And that's all builders. Until next time, I'm Ginger Guardian.